Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1, bringing you the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sötzi. Great that you can be with us. Hungary on Monday saw the reopening of kindergartens and lower grades of public schools. It's all part of a government plan to slowly reopen the country as coronavirus cases decline. Everyone attending those institutions have to have their temperature taken before entering, as well as observing protective measures such as social distancing. If deemed necessary, teachers can also split up their classes into two. Furthermore, parents can also choose not to send their children to school and keep them at home instead. No matter what subject we deal with, the atmosphere you get here is something you don't get at home and would be very difficult to establish with the Internet. Obviously, we're trying everything out, but everything we have tried hasn't really worked and the children are losing a lot of their motivation. The national vaccination campaign for coronavirus continues across the country. The goal is to have three and a half million people inoculated as soon as possible. Once that's achieved, eateries and other enterprises belonging to the hospitality industry can reopen their terraces to serve food and beverages. The dean of Semmelweis University, Bela Merkeli, said that you can soon expect the quick-spreading British variant of coronavirus to spread most quickly among young people. The young people are the ones who are getting in contact with a lot of others. Hence, the highly contagious British variant has been playing a significant role in young people getting sick. And it looks like there are already stats on that showing that not only are the numbers steadily increasing, but that the illness causes a more aggressive infection. Thousands of doses of coronavirus vaccines are arriving this week in Hungary, according to the country's chief medical officer. Dr. Cecilia Müller made the announcement at the daily press briefing of the operative group responsible for dealing with the pandemic in the country. She reiterated that every third person in the country has already received at least one vaccination and that pandemic results are steadily improving. However, she said your individual safety can only be guaranteed if you get vaccinated. Companies in the hospitality sector and tourism industry may get financial assistance again. At least that's what the country's Competition Council is recommending. And the move is also supported by Hungary's Minister of Finance, Mihai Varga. Among the recommendations are reducing taxes and giving other financial breaks. Varga believes that if the vaccination campaign progresses well, economic growth will grow by more than 10 percent in the second quarter of the year. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. But don't forget, you can catch the show live every night after the 11 p.m. Hungarian news. You can also watch us online and in repeats. Please stay tuned. We also have shows in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and please stay safe. Observe social distancing and wear a medical mask. Bye for now and in the